Also, in here, TK, question one, a diagonal mask without any masculinity on the color doctor or the sound of a married female diagonal is Owen. Okay, uh, married female. Ectoid pregnancy is more likely, TK. A diagonal mask uh, without any masculinity on color doctor or sound of a married female. So, ectoid pregnancy is diagnosed, is most likely. Question number two, most specific criteria for ectoid pregnancy on the sound is cardiac motion and diagonal mask. Most specific criteria for ectoid pregnancy on the sound is cardiac motion in a diagonal mask. Question number three, young people came with an amenorrhea and presented with the right lower quadrant pain. Her PCG was 2,200, two, two minimal pre period was equal to the IF. Or sound showed no sign of intrauterine pregnancy, so the intrauterine pregnancy. Again, no sign of intrauterine pregnancy and she is because HCG is raised and then uh, young female. Question number four, female with PTHG 2200 and GRP negative, like that was ectoid pregnancy. PTHG of 2200 and they will say in the scenario that she is married, so diagnosed with ectoid pregnancy. Question number five, married female came in lower abdominal pain and right pelvic region, like the pain is of origin from ovary. Married female came in lower abdominal pain and right pelvic region, like the pain is of origin from ovary. Question number six, A 23 year old female married presented with pain in the right leg fossa or sound of complex mass appearing uterus to the right, right ovary not separate very nice, no vascularity in the mass, diagnosed ectoid pregnancy. Again, same scenario, married female, right, right ovary not separate very nice, diagnosed ectoid pregnancy. Question 7 Uninterrupted ectoid pregnancy, surgery is an option. Uninterrupted ectoid pregnancy, surgery is an option. Question number 8. Adenomyosis is best seen on MRI. Adenomyosis is best seen on MRI. Get next. Question number nine. Thalidomide effect on first fetus in first trimester. Pocomelia. Thalidomide effect on fetus in first trimester. Pocomelia. Question number ten. Female, 12 years old, on our short session, must be seen. She has not yet started maturing like the diagnosis. Metro, metro corpus. Female 12 year old on our sound stitching mass is seen and not started menstruating. Diagnosis Female to metro corpus. Question 11. Female 15 years suddenly onset of pain, FLP mass, or sound to midline mass equals in pelvis diagnosis. Metro metro corpus. Female 15 year old with sudden onset of pain, FLP mass, or sound to midline mass equals in pelvis diagnosis. Her metro metro corpus. Question 12. On 34 weeks can which can be seen, fluid can be seen in fetal stomach. On 34 weeks can which can be seen, fluid can be seen in fetal stomach. 34 weeks, fluid can be seen in fetal stomach. Question 13. Obstetric or sound with fetal ascites, pure fluid and pericardial fluid. Skin thickness more than 5 mm. And patient has measured more than 4 cm diagnosis height of fetalis. Obstetric or sound with fetal ascites, pure fluid and pericardial fluid. Skin thickness more than 5 mm. Patient has more than 4 cm diagnosis height of fetalis. Question 14. Regarding pelvis, junctional zone appears hyperintense on T2WI. Regarding pelvis, junctional zone appears hyperintense on T2WI. Question number 15. 15. Resgain of choice for endometriosis is MRI. Resgain of choice for endometriosis is MRI. For endometriosis, resgain of choice MRI. Question number 16. Cyst between labia major and minor is Bartholin cyst. Cyst between labia major and minor is Bartholin cyst. Question 17. 23 year old woman undergoing the game for dyspareunia. Pelvic order sound was unremarkable. Am I demonstrate a 1 cm thin wall over cyst at the anterior level of the upper vagina? Is homogeneous hyperintense on T1? Uh, and shows marked the high brain T2 with a most likely diagnosis, Gardner duct cyst. Now, uh, on MRI, there's thin walled or wide cyst at the anterior lateral aspect of upper vagina, and then marked high brain density on T2, most likely diagnosis, Gardner duct cyst. Question 18, 6 year old female admitted with progressive abdominal distension, black abdominal pain, found to have 20 centimeter complex open mass on ultrasound and raised C125 level, but the next step in management stating, TT followed by biopsy. No, six year old female and having a, a 20 centimeter complex ovarian mass on our sound and raised CM1 parallel. Next step in management is CT following by biopsy. 19, 40 year old woman, history of pelvic radiotherapy, 
for cervical cancer has an ultrasound scan for cycle pelvic pain and maximum cesarean pre by predominantly eco poor material and both ovaries have moderately enlarged cysts containing low level ecos. On MI, the cervix returns low T2 signal and OM cysts return high signal on fat suppressed T1 sequences. In a point, most likely diagnosis, cervical stenosis and bilateral adrenal endometrioma. Then, the hint is that she had previous uh, pelvic radiotherapy for cervical cancer. And then, on both cervix, uh, on further scan, there is a OM cyst. There, OMs, both OAs have multiple large cysts containing low level equals to their endometrioma. So, so diagnosis, cervical stenosis, and bilateral endometrioma. And 20. In first trimester, most accurate method of dating is CRL. In first trimester, most accurate method of dating is CRL. Question number 21. Fetal cardiac activity. Cardiac flicker will be present at 8 weeks. Cardiac flicker will be present at 8 weeks. Question number 22. During HSG, ultrapacity of SCP. Seen in polypin tube due to due to spasm. Two hysterical salpingogram early opacity seen in polypin tube is due to spasm.